Yeah, so uh, Uphold uh, is uh, offering Sologenic, Corium, XRP, and others. And, um, and we work with a lot of the communities, specifically with Solo and Corium. You know, it's a really great partnership that we try to have with the tokens and the communities where we go all the way from researching to our listing committee to making them live. In the case with Corium, we did a large countdown for our community in our app and through social and with our communities collectively so that our users could buy Corium in time for the snapshot. So we saw Corium, we have 265 tokens on the platform. We saw Corium that day hit the top 20 after we worked together to uh, promote that right before the snapshot. Solo probably had a 15x trading uh, lift that it saw from that kind of community partnership as well. And then you'll see us also offer uh, the Solo network integration and Corium network integration for if you want to move off your Solo and Corium as well. So it's, we try to work with all of the, you know, what I would say really good legitimate platforms, protocols, and tokens in order to bring them to our platform and then, you know, allow people to trade, buy, sell, and, and exit. How do you decide at Uphold what tokens to list? Is there sort of like a checklist you follow? Yeah, so we have a listing committee. Um, we're obviously highly regulated, and so we take compliance very seriously. Um, we have a listing committee that will review the tokens. It's everything from is it, you know, is, is it uh, check all the boxes for security, not a security in our definition? Does it, has it been audited? What do the founders look like? You know, where are the tokens going? How much does a team hold? And so we take probably about 30% to 40% of the tokens that come to us. Roughly 70% of the tokens that want to be listed don't hit all of the legitimate criteria we look for. Okay. And so when we find something like Solo, then once it's listed, then we'll start working with the team and we will start promoting it to our users. And our users are high into you know, enterprise-based tokens, obviously XRP and all the community around that. And so it's really nice when we can find a token that meets all those great criteria and then we can list it. So considering the scrutiny you're under, you know, Uphold is one of the few places that do not delist XRP. Can you speak a little bit about why that decision is? Ah. Uh, awesome. So, uh, yeah, you know, I said before, we're highly regulated. So we do take compliance incredibly serious at Uphold. So we are, you know, FCA licensed in the UK. We have 44 plus MTL MSBs here in the US. We have licensing in Lithuania. You know, we, we take that very seriously. And so when we looked at um, what was happening, and you know, obviously there is a lawsuit out there, but when we look at, our, look at that and uh, work with our legal counsel, there is no legal precedent yet. And so for us, you know, it felt prudent to maintain listing the token. Um, and you know, when there's legal precedent, we'll have to follow it. But right now, there is not legal precedent, and we feel comfortable listing the token. 